In this Caden Live tutorial I will show you how to add audio over a video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Caden Live. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. First thing you need to do is drag your video into track 1, especially on later versions of Caden Live. And if you're going to adjust the volume, let's say you wanted to keep some of the volume on your video, you need to go up to something like audio correction and drag the volume key frameable over the video clip. Now because I don't want any audio I'm actually going to just kill the audio but if you say had some voiceover or something you wanted to keep you'll need to adjust this so that you can hear it over the music but that it's a, but so that it doesn't drain the music out. Okay so you effectively I've effectively killed the audio on this. Um, now I'm going to bring this clip in here and bring it into the beginning. Now I know that this starts about here, as you can see over here. It, uh, and you can also see by the uh, the strip where the music starts. So you've got an option. You can either select the razor tool here or just press X as I said you probably know this and then cut your clip there right click and then delete selected item go back to select or press S and just slam it to the beginning so I'm going to just play this through Now I want my next track to start about here. So I'll just bring this back here. And again, I'm going to press X or you can select it here. I'm going to cut, press S or select here, right click and delete. And that's all I'm going to do with that uh, piece of music. I'm going to bring this next piece in. and I know that this is quite quiet at the beginning so with that track selected I'm just going to press home and that will take me to the very beginning of this audio track and as we did on the original um, video I'm going to bring the volume keyframeable into this audio here and I'm going to take by rolling my middle mouse in this box here this up to about 20 dB and that's a lot better I'm just going to press home again to take me back to beginning and the reason you need to be at the beginning because you've got something here it's a minus sign which you will will automatically place a keyframe at the beginning if you don't do it at the beginning you can get into quite a few problems so I'm going to press end now to go to the end of this audio and as you can see it's a fair bit longer than the original video so if I select the video and press end I get to the start of the video and again you can either select the razor tool here or press X and cut the audio track now right click and then left click on delete or you can press delete on the keyboard and this is actually now at the end of the video. 
I'm going to press S to go back to select so I don't make any mistakes and cut something I don't want to and I'm going to come back here now as you can see to a certain extent I've over I've put the gain up too high but what I'm going to do here is this point here I'll select the audio and then place the pointer over this plus sign left click so I've got a keyframe there and then I'm going to press end to go to the end and I'm going to drag this all the way down and hopefully now what we should find is it fades out at the end now you can place keyframes anywhere in the audio track or the video track um, that's all there is to it really it's just a case of making sure you've got volume keyframeable set up so you can change the volume at any point using the keyframe um, and like I said at the beginning I assume you have some knowledge of using uh, Caden Life always set it up to work with proxy clips especially if your video is a long video because a lot of computers just won't play without stuttering so hopefully that's helped somebody Thank you for watching. Cheers.